What's up folks, welcome to the Combat Fighting Channel. My name is Han and in this video we have a super female fight between Shay Wedderburn and Kate Clements, the current WBC champion. This fight was the main event for the Branded Fighting Championships in Lethbridge on March 16th, 2024. I do want to note that this fight was originally supposed to be between Glorisel Rodriguez from Mexico, but due to visa issues, the flight could not be made. Shay was in Thailand and she took this fight on two weeks notice, so props to her. Not only is this an amazing fight, it is Lethbridge's first female main event for combat sports, so this event made Canadian history. The fight decision in the end wasn't typical, so to be fair, I posted everything I have from before the fight and after the fight to provide a very neutral perspective to this whole fight story that just happened this weekend. We will start with the pre-fight interview I did with Shay, the fight itself, the post-fight interview I did with Shay's Corner, and then afterwards, some more post-fight interviews with people from Lethbridge. Then finally, a post-fight interview with the current WBC champion, Kate Clements. This is Han from the Combat Fighting Channel. I hope you enjoy the video. Peace out. What's up, Shay? How are you? How was Thailand? Great. When did you get back? Um, I just got back for this flight maybe two weeks ago. Two weeks? Yeah. Okay. So jet lag is done? Literally. Yeah. 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 Um, you spent how many time? Three months there or two months? How about that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. How was it, man? Like, what would really you do all day? Just train? Train. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Train. So you, you took that fight and you won, right? Yeah. You didn't see the footage yet, but how was that first fight for you there? Oh, it was great. It was great. I really liked fighting in Thailand. Um, I was able to try out like, a bunch of stuff that I had just like in the vault. You fought Clemens once, so you kind of know her style. When you were in Thailand training and all that, what kind of training did you do to prepare for this fight? Um, it was, yeah, it was last minute. Oh, was it? Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Called. Yeah, like two weeks. Two weeks, okay. Well then, what have you been doing for the past two weeks? Training. Yeah? yeah training. training with your dad? Yeah. Cool. You know, you got your dad here. He's a great guy. He's like the best dad in the world. So how much is, uh, is your dad's support mean to you? Oh my gosh, he gives the world to me. I couldn't do it without him. Yeah? I would not be here without him. That's great, man. So um, I'm going to post this. I'm going to post your fight, highlights and stuff like that, OK? okay. Um, I'm going to tag you guys. So whenever that is, bring me sometime next week, I think. All right, so good luck on the fight, guys, because i got to walk around.
Okay, so Shay, um, you did three months in Thailand. I've seen you fight many times. You've leveled up a lot, you know? Mm. Tell me your thoughts on this fight. <laughs> this fight was absolute bullshit. I came here from Thailand. Man, she won every single round. Every single round! They took my daughter from Thailand for this. She's on her way to one MMA. One MMA, one championship, she's on her way. And we took it for this. First they said from 122 to 121, then we got to 120.2, they took away the belt, and now she won every single round. Every round. Tell them to come see me, man. No WBC title, no branded title. I came here, I did not come here for no reason. I came here to fight King to take away her belt. I came here for the WBC belt to take it away. They took that away from me, said I could get the branded belt, and now there's a draw. Please somebody tell me when the last time they heard of a draw in pro Muay Thai. A draw? <laughs> okay, so there's the draw. Now let's talk about the fight a bit. In the fight, right, it seems like you're using your reach to your advantage. In your head, right, while it's fresh, can you play it back to me, how, how it went for you? Well, the fight was a cakewalk, if you ask me. I, I walked right through her. I stuck to my plan, staying long, using my punches, using my power. That's what worked for me. That's how it was the fight. Cool. 
So did any of the, how much of that was Thailand and how much of it was previous training? Um, I want to say Thailand kept me warm. It lit that fire back under my bum that maybe I lost um, my last couple or previous fights. Um, but all of that, I had that all. I had that all bottled in me for so long. I had a bottle in me for so long, and I just needed to get it out. So I would say thank you to Thailand for getting that out of me, getting me in incredible shape. Um, thank you to my my coaches in Thailand who. Continue to push me twice a day, every single day. Um, yeah. Cool. I want to ask about. So you know, you said you had a, couple, a few losses. Got back into the winning zone, right? So, how do you? Um, can you give some tips on how to push through that? Uh, I'd say the number one thing is believing yourself, confidence. Uh, my uncle tells me all the time, it's mental. Uh, as a fighter. Your mental game is at least 60% of the game. Of the game, if you win in your head, you win out there. If you're not ready, out, if you're not ready up here, you're not ready to go out there. Fair. Now, my last question is: Would you be open to a rematch for Branded Four? I don't know. I'm not. I don't know if I'll be fighting on Branded again. Um, I feel like they completely robbed me. They didn't treat me very well since I came back from Thailand. And I don't know if I would be reappearing on this card. Okay, fair enough. Well, Shay, you did great today. Looking forward to seeing the future. I'll be seeing you around. If you're, in, if you're in Calgary doing a fight anywhere in Alberta, BC or Ontario, I'll come and see you, okay? Every round, every round she won, hands down. It's all right. If your dad's mad, it's okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, just unprofessional. Unprofessional. The sport deserves better. Everybody, fans deserve better. Yeah, so what's unprofessional about it? Like, can you elaborate on that? Uh, just making a scene. If you want to you know, dispute a decision, then dispute in the back of the officials. Don't make a scene about it. Don't, you know, nobody can stop. We all were fighting. If you want to fight, we can do it for practice. Like, in the case, right? Oh, I mean, uh, it's like every fight, um, you know, you have to, you emotionally feel sometimes things that, um, you know, um, I, I, I can't weigh on the decision or anything like that. Um, yeah, I felt that uh, Shay looked really good, started off really well, kind of gassed out afterwards, but props to her, Shay really improved. Also props to Kate for basically weathering the storm, um, getting, uh, taking some damage in the first round, and then coming back. Um, yeah, I don't make the decisions. I don't make the decisions. I mean, we'd be more than happy to have them you know, uh, do a title fight at 118. They just got to be able to make sure they make that weight. 118, um, that's, that's what's needed to be a uh, fight for that fight. So, uh, you know, um, and hopefully we can uh, work that out. And I mean, I, I mean, they're very emotional about it, understandably, but I don't really try to get too emotional about those things. It's like, I've got to, I've got to go back and look at footage and all that and figure that out. Uh, yeah, yeah so, so um, Branded 4 is coming up. Is there a date for that? Or is it going to be like same time this year? Uh, October. October? I think it was, yeah. Do you think... You, there would be a chance for a rematch at Branded 4? Is, is that a thing? We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, to, you know, we'll, see. Uh, we'll, we'll see what uh, opportunities there are. And, um, possibly. The final fight. Um, yeah, man. You want to weigh in on that a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, like, Shay obviously improved a ton. Like, super unprofessional that they didn't make weight, that they show up for a 118-pound title fight and weigh in at 121 and still think that the fight should happen, right? Um, we tried everything to accommodate them. We're not going to fight for a WBC title at 100, that's a 118-pound title at 121. Uh, that's just not going to happen. So they made it for the 122-pound branded title, right? to appease them, otherwise I don't think they were going to fight. The fight itself, um, Kate came out, I think like, she thought, we all thought individually that the uh, the fight was going to go similar to the last one, right? She was just going to blow you around, but credit to Shay, she's improved the time, she's been training in Thailand, and she made it a war, and Kate made some really strong adjustments in that second round that then 
carried through 345, which I think she handily won 345, right? Like, you could watch it and debate it either way, but Kate was landing more, she was landing more low kicks, she was getting tired, she was having a couple moments, but I thought, you know, 345 and then the knockdown in round one, that's a draw. Yeah, so you said she made adjustments, right? I noticed that um, she was adjusting for the reach. She was like pulling for the reach, I think. Yeah, yeah, and she wasn't chopping the leg. She was trying too hard to hit the body, right? And then as soon as she added that leg kick in in the third round, that was really hurting her. She didn't land it quite a few in the second, but you saw it really at, start to add up in three, four, and five, and she was changing stances. She really didn't like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, anybody can say what they want about any fight, and anybody's entitled to their opinion, but at the end of the day, if you don't want it to go into the decision, don't leave it in the hands of the judges. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was a good fight. Like, um, it's crappy. You always want to see a winner, but, like, yeah, I see where the judges would have saw it, saw it, right? So, and a majority draw as well means that uh, two of the judges saw it a draw, right? And one saw a winner. So, who that judge was, I don't know. But, yeah, that's not your call, anyways. Doesn't yeah, matter at that point. It's not your call, anyways. But I'm just, right? So, a judge did see that there was a winner on a scorecard, so, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, well, I mean, it is what it is. The night's over, there's nothing we can do, nothing we can do about it. You can, you can do a rematch, it's all good. If you really wanted to. Yeah, I mean, like, we'd rematch Shane, I'm sure, but like, probably, like, Kate's trying to fight at higher levels that like, professionals that actually want to make weight and want to show up and make weight, and like, well, let's face it, like, a six foot one or six foot two, however tall she is, like, Shane's huge. He's probably never gonna make 118 pounds, right? Like, not healthily, at least, so. Yeah, I mean, if they want to rematch, it'll probably be below 120, and it should better show up one way. Fair enough, man. So, Brandon Four is in fall. Are you involved in planning that one? I'm not involved in planning. I'm not involved in Brandon in any way, shape, or form. Oh, okay, cool. I <laughs> wish, uh, yeah, Brad would love for me to be, but I'm just way too busy, man. I got so many other things on the go. So. Yeah, Ambas Canadian ambassador, George R. Stout. I'm sure you're busy, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you for your time, buddy. Appreciate you, your, your weighing in and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. All good. Cheers, man. Have a good one. Thank you. Yeah. Not a judge on. Um, you know, I'm Kate, right? Um, you know, I thought Hunt Kate did enough. You know, sure, she got dropped early in the, early in the fight. But, you know, Shay didn't do anything um, in the later rounds. And Kate was landing a lot of those low kicks, right? She was landing some hard low kicks. Um, I just thought Kate had the volume. And, uh, Took it by split decision, but it was it was a very close fight, and I uh, I understand the draw. And like, w w what a what an entertaining fight, really, right? Like, it was great, except for all the shenanigans at the end, right? Like, forget everyone was on the edge of their seat, right? It was, it was such a fun fight, and like, you know, props to Shay and Kate for like, putting on amazing performances. Right? Like, they, you know, they're both two incredible professional athletes. One thing I gotta say is Shay improved a lot. I mean, last time I saw her fight was uh, Road to One, Round One, yeah. against Brenda, um, I don't her name, Vargas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so she's improved a lot since then in my eyes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a good fight. No, for sure, like, she's improved hugely. Like, I think she was in Thailand before this. Yeah, three months. Yeah, yeah, so obviously, you know, she did improve it. She learned a lot over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was actually uh, quite surprised how, uh, how she came out. I was, I was pretty impressed with her performance. So, yeah, fair enough, it was a good fight. All right, so we got Clay Clements here. Hello. Hello. So, I just want to get your your thoughts. How did that fight go in your head? Um, it was okay. Uh, <laughs> not my best fight. Um, she's improved a lot. Like, I fought her a couple years ago. Um, improved so much, so good on her for that. Um, she rocked me a couple times in the first round, and then I slipped, but they gave me an eight count, which kind of threw me off, but... Um, I found my rhythm, I guess, in the third round, so round three, four, and five, I thought they were good. Uh, ended in a draw, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you did you did do some changes in the yeah. second, third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah. They carried through. Yeah. I saw some uh, more leg kicks. I saw some, like, after she had, which when she threw a punch, you would, you would pull more, yeah. you'd duck more. Yeah. And that, that was, uh, I thought, very effective. Yeah. Yeah, our original game plan, I guess, was to go to the body, so I was trying to get in close, which obviously wasn't working too well in my favor. Yeah, she landed a couple good crosses and an elbow, um, but then I could kind of see them coming, so just stay on the outside a little bit, attack the legs, and then go in and just get a little smarter with it. Mm -hmm. 
So um, it was a draw. So would you be open for a, a rematch in the future? Is that a thing that you're open to? Uh, I mean, like, they're going to want a rematch. Um, I fought her already. She didn't make weight. Like, I've dropped a couple weight classes since we fought. So she's just too big for me now. When we fought the first time, I was a lot bigger, a lot heavier. But, like, I'm walking around at 125 now. So, hmm. like, they're going to call me out for saying no to a rematch. But it's just too big now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this was for 118, was it? The original fight was scheduled for 118, um, but she didn't make weight, so they changed it to a catch weight for the branded title at 120. Um, there was some other drama at weigh-ins that uh, just it doesn't matter, but mm -hmm. it was heavier than 120, um, and I came in way under. I was 116, mm -hmm. so like the. Yes, yeah, not the cleanest matchup, I guess. And no, but I mean, like, props to her. She came all the way from Thailand. Like, my fight got, or my original opponent got um, canceled on kind of short notice due to, like, the visa stuff. So props to her. Like, I really appreciate her coming over. That's a long trip to make. So thank you, Shay. Um, I appreciate you. You did really well. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I took interviews of both sides. Mm -hmm. I want to merge it together. Is that okay with you? All right. Well, Kate, I, I have I have pretty good highlights. Um, I'm gonna post it. Yeah. Cool. Tag you. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna send you the footage I got. Okay. okay of sweet. you. For your memories. Thank you. So when you're old like me, <laughs> you can have memories of being young. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Kate. Thanks for your time. Yeah, Take care. Thank you.